Okay, so through this small video, um, I want to introduce you to this uh, optimization course uh, 752, ME 752. Okay, so uh, uh, through this, I want to do actually three things. I want to explain three things to you. What is there in the uh, course? How are we going to conduct it? And uh, the process of grading. Okay. So how we are going to conduct it in that you already know that we are going to conduct the course through this uh, Hello Portal. And in that, when you go to the course, you access course and come to this screen. This is your course home, your home screen for this course. Now, this is the link by which you come back here um, if you have stayed somewhere else. And these are important uh, uh, links in this. Forums is something which we will be extensively using. And uh, resources is one in which uh, uh, I post things which are uh, not directly linked to uh, one particular lecture or the other. Okay. So right now you find there are two things here. One is the outline of the course, which we'll be discussing in this video. And the other is the cache assignments, a collection of exercise problems. Assign ASGN.pdf, which we'll be talking about. Uh, you can have a quick look at this. Okay. So in this, as assignment zero, assignment one, assignment two, there are lots of uh, problems which are um, collected, okay? Which will be using it in the uh, exercise, in the spirit of exercise, not for formal submission. I will come to those things, okay? So right now, let us go to this. Okay. So. These are the TAs in the course, whom you will uh, come to know. Uh, it is an interdisciplinary course, and it uh, focuses on methods, not uh, problems related to mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or civil engineering or chemical engineering or whatever, okay? So typically, example problems will be taken from any field and fairly general, and general classes of problems. In this course, we give equal emphasis, equal coverage to both theory and concepts and numeric algorithms and problem solving, okay? So the course is basically algorithmic and the theory of concepts go in the, in the basis of those numerical algorithms. And what kind of problems will we will be talking about? We'll be talking about typically nonlinear optimization problems, both constrained and unconstrained, okay? So the central focus is on nonlinear multivariate objective functions with real variables and similar constraints. And we will be concentrating more on effective and efficient classical techniques, uh, not getting distracted uh, much by uh, the so-called modern techniques, which are uh, fairly inefficient to say the least. Okay. So, I mean, there is a fad about uh, such methods like genetic algorithms or particle swarm optimization, uh, which uh, make very good, uh, you know, mm, uh, headlines, uh, like you are doing something very modern, but they are mostly not of great significance for uh, good uh, solution methodologies. Okay. But a little bit of that flavor will come towards the end of the course. Okay. So other than these, whatever makes sense in the, in the fringe as associated issues, uh, we will be covering uh, as the context arises. For example, as I said that the focus is on nonlinear optimization, but linear programming problem also will have its own place in the overall scheme of things. So these are the um, areas, these are the items which we will be covering 
and this is in a way roughly weekly distribution. So we will continue calling these as the agenda for individual weeks, uh, though some of these so-called weeks will be a little longer than seven days and some other weeks may be a little smaller than seven days. So depending upon uh, which topic, which item demands more coverage and less coverage. Okay. So after the first week of covering the fundamental ideas and concepts, uh, I will cover the single variable optimization problem and then go to multivariate optimization problems. So multivariate optimization, multivariate unconstrained optimization will take up three weeks. Okay. Here, the fundamental concepts and methods, then least square problems and nonlinear equation systems, and then the ultimate of multivariate unconstrained optimization. And then we go to the constrained optimization, uh, which will cover one, two, three, four, five weeks. That is the you know, lion's share of the course. So after covering the fundamental concepts and ideas of constraint optimization, before going into the general methods to solve them, we will cover two um, kinds of problems, two classes of problems, linear programming and quadratic programming, which are relatively easier among the constraint optimization problems and then go into full fledged constraint optimization problems and methods in four families of methods, penalty methods, primal methods, dual methods, Lagrange methods. By this, we will be actually finishing the mainstream part of the course. And whatever does not fall in the mainstream, that is enormous amount of things which do not fall in the mainstream optimization uh, discussion. Some of those we will be covering in the last two weeks of the course as many as we can fit in, okay? So in each of the above weeks, um, a total of uh, uh, up to three hours of lectures are expected, uh, but each of these weeks may not be of the same size, same coverage. And uh, I'll not give full hour long lectures typically. I'll make it small lectures and numerous of them, okay? So for every week, you can expect something like five or six small videos, okay, of around 30 minutes each. So we will have the durations, number of lectures, etc., which will be uneven, but mostly we will be following these 12 items as 12 weeks. Okay. These are the uh, textbooks which uh, you can use. I would suggest that out of these two, which are basic, simpler kind of textbooks, uh, you should um, have primary access to at least one. And it will be good if you have similar primary access to one of these two. Okay. This you may have if you are um, keenly interested in optimization, because this is a very good reference material, advanced kind. And this is for actually for outside reading. This is not the textbook kind of book, but a little more, uh, you know, mm, uh, solid compared to what goes by the name of popular science. Okay, but some people might consider this as a popular science book in optimization, but it is actually a little heavier than uh, uh, heavier than popular science. It is real science. Okay. So after this, I should tell you the grading plan and that differs for this particular year compared to um, every other year as usual. Till now, whatever I talked about um, is general and that is that remains same. Now from here, the special things about different things of this semester. Part of it is also same, but there has been a little adjustments as happens every year. Now we will be um, having two kinds of assignments. One is basically exercise, problem solving and you know practice, and that you do not formally submit. You informally submit it in the forums. So that is the thing for which uh, 
uh, we have this assignment.pdf, okay, this problem set. This is the cache assignments in which lots and lots of problems are already there. So in this, you make solutions, you prepare solutions and post them in the forum. And then uh, somebody comments on them. If it is perfectly correct, then somebody says, yes, it is correct. Uh, if it is, if it has some mistakes, errors, then somebody makes those corrections and so on. Okay. So this is basically for discussion. So in the forums, we discuss them. And uh, further, in the weekly discussion hour, uh, also we can uh, take them up. And uh, this brings us to this uh, issue of weekly discussion. Yes. So the course schedule uh, in Pingala shows uh, Tuesday and Friday for the uh, course. But since most of the lectures will be pre-recorded, we will not need those two scheduled sessions. Part of one of them uh, we may utilize uh, as uh, our discussion session. Okay, so which part of it we use? Um, that uh, part of one of those two sessions given. Part of which uh, part of which session out of these two, or some other session we use? that we will discuss in the forum, okay? So some of these cache assignment problems, or rather all of them in a way, will find um, coverage in the forums. And then uh, some of them might, you know, trickle down to the discussion session also, okay? And in this, whatever marks you get, that is coincidental, that is not the, real issue in these cache assignments. The cache assignments are primarily for learning and interaction, okay? So, but then somebody does a good job there in the society, so he should get a little reward, it ni feels nice. So, um, through that, you can get at most 40 marks of bonus out of a total of 400 marks of credits in the semester, in the course, okay? These are for submission, weekly assignments, 12 weeks, 12 submissions, okay? This will give you 120, and then mid -sim, 90 minutes mid -sim, 80 marks, 120 minutes end 120 marks, and there will be an algorithm study, we'll come to that. Now, all of these five, let me quickly explain to you our modus operandi of conducting these. First, we were already talking about cache assignments. A collection of problems, kept in the resources where I showed you. As and when we cover a topic, a week say, um, you will attempt these problems and post solutions or methods and conclusions also in the forum and then discuss them, okay? So somebody posts a solution, somebody makes a, criticize, a critic on it, somebody makes a correction on it, somebody says that that is correct, Okay, and through these things, we converge at the final solutions. And whoever uh, makes a new non-trivial contribution, including the original solution or correction or improvement over a coding's work, he is awarded a little bonus mark on that by the TA. Okay, it may be one mark or two mark, depending upon what is the weight of that particular contribution. If somebody has posted a correct solution and you also post a correct solution of the same problem afterwards, then you don't get anything because the fellow who has the credit first, he has already got it. Now, this is a group work and this should maximize consultation and working together. There is no um, issue of uh, getting the solution from somebody else. That is what we are going to do in the forum, okay? And this is informal discourse, open informal discourse, no formal submission. And therefore no formal credit, whatever little prize award you get, that is through bonus, okay? But through that, you can actually add up to 40 marks to your full credits, okay? Up to 40 marks. 
So that means in this course, in principle, out of 400, it is possible to score 440, up to 440, okay? Practically, that is very difficult because in the normal segments, you end up losing some marks here and there. Now, these weekly assignments are 12 solid additions to your real credit, okay? So as each assignment, you will construct a small problem, construct, I said, not find or get, okay? So not find or get from a book, not fi nor find and find or get from a friend, nothing. You construct a problem, okay? Actually, real, real learning is through construction of a problem. So you will construct a small problem based on the subject matter covered in the lectures of that week. So you can do that only after a substantial part of the week lectures have appeared, okay? And in your description of the problem, in the beginning, you will explicitly draw a link of your problem with something that was discussed in the lecture, okay? Then you pose this problem to yourself as an exercise problem. So this is a half of the job done, okay? And then you will solve this problem and submit the complete solution in a single PDF file, okay? Now, in solving this problem, if you needed to develop a little program, uh, you can do that, there is no problem, but you need not submit that program. I mean, there is no point in uh, me or the TAs trying to study your program, okay? So you do not submit the program, but you might explain the program, that what the program does and how it does it, you can explain it a little, okay, in your solution process. And after that, whatever results from the program you want to put up, you can include them, okay? So how much marks you will get out of 10, that will depend upon uh, how non-trivial your problem is. I mean, some of them, some of these problems may look trivial for somebody who knows the optimization subject very well, okay? but. So far as the lessons of that particular week is concerned, that is a standard kind of problem, okay? So even trivial problems, if you put, there is no harm in doing that because through trivial problems also people learn. But overall, as an exercise problem, it should have some value. You should not say the problem is to minimize x squared. Uh, I mean, what is the minimum value? Zero. And at what value of x? x equal to zero. That is sort of meaningless. So marks will accrue because based on the work, that is the nature of the problem and the quality and completeness of the solution. Accuracy also included. And in some cases, if the method, the operation of the method on the problem is involved, then that elaboration also may count. Okay. So try to define non-trivial problems and provide correct and complete solutions. And make note that unlike the cache assignments, this is not group work, this is individual work, okay? So this is an individual exercise and this should shun consultation and sharing. There should be no consultation or sharing in this. You construct the problem and you provide the solution, okay? So that is the plan of it. And if you try to think smart, that why spend my energy on uh, constructing a different new problem, which is so difficult thing to do. Actually, it is not difficult. Why not pick up a good problem from a book? Okay. Uh, I would advise you against that because the entire purpose of the exercise is to learn. And if you pick up a problem from a book, then you don't learn much. Okay. You may solve and may learn something through the solution process, but the real learning in this exercise, you are expected to get by defining the problem and then solving. You can define simple problems also, there is no harm. So the kind of problems which are posted in the uh, cache assignments, like that only a new problem you define. <coughs> and another reason, not to um, pick up a problem from a book or somewhere, 
uh, is that uh, your friend may be equally smart, you know. So it may happen that uh, both you and he uh, picks up the same problem from the same source or the same problem from the different from different sources. And then, uh, you know, unnecessarily you get caught as uh, perhaps copied, okay, and your credit uh, gets uh, diluted, okay. So basically, you don't expect a credit uh, on a problem which was supposed to be different for every student's uh, submission, but it happens to be same. So typically, you don't expect that to be valid. So it will not be valid. So um, it is, if you construct the problem and your friend also constructs the problem, in fact, even if your friend does not construct the problem, he picks up from somewhere dishonestly, if you construct your problem, it is very, very difficult that your problem, your constructed problem turns out to be exactly the same as some other problem, which is appearing in some book. That is not going to happen, right? So that is why it is better to go by the straight and narrow and do everything on your own. That way you learn better and whatever you do for that, you get the credit, okay? Then mid -sum exam and uh, end -sum exam are standard. Uh, mid sem exam we will have for 90 minutes, end sem exam for 120 minutes, okay? One and a half hours, two hours. And submission of the mid sem exam, the same as end sem exam also, will be through a single PDF file within that one and a half hours or two hours. And uh, post submission, uh, you can make a second submission in the same portal of uh, the uh, exam in the MOOCIT portal. And this is a second file, which is a simple one line text file. Okay. And in that you put the video link of a little video that you make five minutes. And in that five minute video, you briefly explain your solution of the exam, okay, exam problems. So suppose your mid sem exam submission is uh, four pages uh, for three problems. So then in this five minute video, you quickly explain uh, the solutions that you have put in the problem one, problem two, problem three, okay? So do not make it too long and you plan it in such a manner that that planning also will take only five minutes, okay? So after the submission of the answer book, your answer sheets, okay, then you quickly make a plan of how to present it, how to teach it, okay? For example, suppose you are the TA of the course and these three problems you are explaining to the class. So for that, you make a little plan and based on that plan, take up your own solution and explain the solutions to the audience. So this process, you record as a video and put that video anywhere in your YouTube channel or uh, in your Google Drive or whatever. And the link of that video, you put in a TXT file, that TXT file also you submit at the uh, submission link of the exam, okay? After the PDF. There is, so whatever is in the mid -sem, similar thing for the end -sem also, okay? And now, out of these five items, only one is left, that is algorithm study, okay? So in the algorithm study, each of you will be given one topic of the course in which you have to make extensive study. So early in the second half of the semester, uh, each student will be randomly given one topic or a method uh, to conduct intensive study, okay? So the student will conduct thorough study of that topic or method, develop programs for solving that class of problems with that kind of method or methods and execute his programs on diverse example data, some small, some large, some trivial, some standard, some difficult, complicated. And through this, develop all the findings, organize all the findings together and based on that, make the entire thing in the form of a presentation or slides. And after that, using these slides, the student will prepare a video talk as if 
you are making a presentation in the class okay in the spirit of a class seminar and then this slides pdf and the video link you will submit okay and this submission will be made available to the entire class based on which we will have a discussion in the forum so this business this exercise uh, will be conducted over a span of uh, three four weeks so something like weeks seven to ten around that okay so the topics will be assigned to the students uh, just randomly and you uh, don't bother about what the topics given what are the topics given to your friends and they will not bother about yours till the submission time comes when all the submissions will be available to the full class this is actually a very important segment of the course through which all the students uh, learn quite a bit and uh, through the interaction after the all the presentations and here the intensive um, exercise by one person in one particular problem uh, out of the results of that gets available to the entire class okay so through that the mutual learning exercise is uh, gets uh, quite highly amplified so that is the purpose of this algorithmic study so this is in a way a term project though not term paper because it doesn't have a research component in it okay so this entire um, uh, discussion that I made now on this outline.txt file, uh, I'll put uh, in the, I will upload in the, in the portal under week zero. And then week one onwards, we will start having other newer pre recorded video lectures. Okay. Thank you.